In this video, I will show you how to use a Polaroid MP4 reflex viewer on a 4x5 camera with a GraphLock back. This happens to be a GraphLex pacemaker crown graphic. Um, you can use a crown graphic, speed graphic, or even a GraphLex SLR if you prefer. But uh, it would seem a little redundant having multiple reflex viewers on one camera. So with this one, we'll just show you the crown graphic. There are two ways to attach this um, to the camera here, and uh, I'll show you both ways. First is a uh, kind of quick and dirty way. I'll just take this gra ground glass viewer off, and uh, you'll need to remove these pins on the top and the bottom. They're just uh, press fit in there, held by friction. I might need a pliers, um, but I was able to get mine out by hand. Um, and then you can attach this directly onto the graph lock back using these sliding tabs. Uh, it only fits one way uh, due to the configuration of the this viewer here, but uh, attach it and slide on the tabs. And then you can uh, rocker the reflex viewer on into place. Uh, you'll notice the viewing hood is upside down, so we'll want to flip that around. It's really simple. You just lift up uh, on the nose part there and then uh, flip it around and do the reverse, place it back in, and you have it in the correct position. Um, you know, and that works. It's a magnifying viewer, so it's, it's great. Uh, the image is no longer upside down. It is re reversed, but uh, is no longer upside down. If you like, if uh, having the image back backwards and reverses, uh, or upside down and reverses, is, is uh, irritating, then this will help you. Um, so this this is a quick way to set it up, but it's not spring loaded, so you'd have to actually remove this to slide in, um, you know, film holder to take your image. So that's not as convenient as the second way, which is uh, attaching it directly to the spring uh, ground glass spring holder here, uh, the graph lock back. So you can take this off the viewing hood, the graph lock viewing hood, uh, and then you're just left with this. What you can do is these have special tabs on this. Uh, the reflex viewer ground glass that, that fit the the tabs on the reflex viewer so they won't f fit on the standard graph lock back. You can do one of two things. You can swap out these clips with the ears on them into here. Uh, the screw holes don't line up either so you have to kind of, uh, you have to expand the screw holes on the on on the MP4 tabs there. Uh, but that's possible. You can do that. Or you can uh, modify the viewing hood to fit on here with these standard tabs, and that's what I chose to do, because I didn't like the uh, idea of the ears on the other tabs sticking out. So, uh, yeah, what I did is I took a Dremel. I don't know if you can see it, I'll zoom in here, or uh, focus in closely here. Uh, I took a Dremel and flattened uh, both of these tabs on the, the top part because they're a little too tall, the Graflex clips on the Graflex back. So I did both sides. Um, normally I'm loath to modify things like this, but uh, since they're roll pins, uh, if I messed up, I could just yank them out and stick a new one in, try again. So it wasn't too bad on that. Um, so once you modify the pins, I also shortened them up here um, so they weren't quite so long. But uh, once I got them out, or uh, got them ground down, uh, I was able to fit it in here, but uh, there was a considerable amount of friction due to the um, paint on the top here. And so what I did is I uh, took a a sanding drum on my Dremel and Dremeled uh, the layer of paint and also some of the aluminum body off of there 
to make it fit better, and it comes uh, it's easier to remove too, so it slides in and out easily. Uh, with standard tabs, I didn't have to modify my graph lock back at all, so it'll still work with my viewing hood. So yeah, once you get that on there, you just snap it onto the back of your 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 uh, graph lock back there, and then you're good to go. One thing I did notice is that uh, maybe it's the springs in my uh, spring back are a little weak, um, but it's there's some a slight amount of play here due to the weight of the reflex viewer. So uh, I've noticed that if you just engage that tab a little bit, to uh, add some pressure onto it and keeps it snug. So just keep that in mind when you're focusing. Uh, make sure the back is completely flush, otherwise you might uh, be out of focus uh, due to your grog glass being away slightly. Uh, but yeah, this reflex viewer has uh, is adjustable. Um, there's a mirror inside and a magnifier. And okay, I'll just show it to you here. But has a, the mirror is like on the Graflex SLRs, it's coated on the, it's probably hard to see, but it's coated on the reflecting side, so it's not coated on the back, so you don't have that uh, ghosting through the glass, and of course you have a magnifier there. So it uh, really helps to focus, it's kind of like a loop and a uh, viewing hood in one, um, so it's, it's helpful. Uh, again, it adds you know considerable mass to the camera. But if you're on a tripod, uh, focusing uh, using you know fine focus, then it uh, probably doesn't really matter. So yeah, it really helps uh, focusing the sunlight and uh, everything like that. But uh, yeah, it's a way to use the MP4 viewing hood on a gra uh, graph lock back. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and uh, happy shooting.